Day Day around the outside to Walters. 10 on the clock. Started to drive. Now to Russo. Pulls up just inside the three line, and that is good for two. He's got a devastating pump fake. He literally gets to his tippy toes. Mm. And, and it's so tough to defend because he's such a dangerous shooter. You have to close out hard during the course of tonight's game. Walters looks at three. Nothing. Now he's going to drive all the way in for two. And that's a defensive breakdown. If you're pace, you cannot allow that to occur. You can allow with Day Day beating you from beyond the arc, but you can't allow layups to, to Chris Walters at the rim. As Walters thought about the three, skips it to the right wing. Russo, and it comes back around to Walters for three, and he hits. And, and, and that right there is what makes it nearly impossible to defend. That is a contested 22-foot three, Dan, with the shot clock winding down, and it didn't even touch the rim. Good rebounder as well. Here's Walters now after both free throws made by McLaughlin. Russo for three from the right corner. He was too open on that one. That's He's got five. Day Day Andrews. Russo left side. Kicks it out. Flores for three. And that is no good. Teresco battles for the rebound. Gets the put back. Oh, what a battle underneath by Teresco. One white shirt against four blue. And Teresco emerges with the basket. He's been much better being engaged, being locked in on the defensive side. Flores left side for three, he's got it. And the Penmen are off to a torrid start here, 15 to four. Penman break the pressure, Flores in the front court. They swing it to Russo, he's open for three left side and hits, wow. As Russo, Russo posting up Teresco down low, kicks it out. Walters open for three and he hits. He's got 10 early points. We're at the midpoint of the first half, 24-11. Gilbertson, bounce pass picked off by Teresco. And here's Flores running the floor. Gives off to Dede, to Walters. Two hand slam finishes. That's a 26-11. That's a really nice secondary break there by the Pemmon. And now he peels out to the corner. They kick it to Russo. Left corner for three and he hits. Russo, his third three-pointer. Here's Walters with 13 on the shot clock, backing his way in. Now turns in the lane, and he gets two more. He's got 16 first-half points. Martin into the front court, gives off to Dede. Dede with a burst into the lane, kicks it out to Russo. Open for three more out of the left corner. He's got it. Of the day, Charlie Russo. Whoa. Right on the heels of Walters, he's got 14. What a half. Now it's Seymour on him. And they swing it around. Day Day kicks to the corner. Samino, now it's Flores for three and he hits. This team right now is devastating offensively. Walters runs the floor. Kicks out to Flores, thought about the three. Now driving in, up and under. No, but the follow-up two-hand flush by Walters gives him 20 first half points. And it's 43-25. So, and Day Day's running the floor. Kicks it to Flores in the corner. Flores on the drive, easy layup. After he got around one man, nobody picked him up. Underneath for pace, McLaughlin can't get the roll. Rebound to Day Day, running the floor with Walters. Walters taking it in, and he's fouled. He gets the hoop. The foul is called on Montillas, who tried to get position. Trying to go back to Teresco cutting. He has to chase it into the corner. Now a pass over to Russo. Left-handed number goes. That's a terrific pass along the baseline by Teresco. Day Day gets in the timeline, gets it across to Russo. Open is Flores. Right side three ball goes. Flores picking up the slack here in the second half. He has shot it very well. It was going to go to pace yeah. there. It was pretty obvious it was off of him. Here's Flores, long three ball, and he hits another. You could tell he's feeling it when his shots don't touch the rim. And the last two or three, Dan, have been nothing but net. Has Walters, Walters, kicks, Russo for three in the corner. He's got another one. I don't know how you stop this team, Charlie. Working on a career best evening. He's up to 19 points now. Thought he got some contact there. Now Day Day the other way. Simonkevichis is going for three and he hits. First three of the game. Pace Ooh. turns it over. Blood. Steal by Walters. Up to Flores. Flores trying to finish. He does and is fouled. That play obviously on the defensive side is made by Walters. But the early advance is what makes that opportunity mm. for Dimitri Flores. Bullen for the penman. Brings it to the left side. 
Semino is going to try three. He's got another one. That is three from downtown for Ryogo Semino. It's going to do it. 90 to 72 is the final in this one. The Penmen get the win. Win number 11 on the season against two losses and improving to 7-1 and one in the NE10. Good win. I mean, it, it, this is what you're supposed to do against lesser caliber foes. Don't let them stick around. Penman jumped on them early, and this was, quite frankly, since pretty early on, Dan, this was not a contest. All right.